it's surreal. It really is. Um, you know, first year coaching. Uh, I knew our team was going to be good because they, they were already good. But I didn't anticipate uh, 34 and 6. I didn't anticipate coaching the All Star game in February. It's bizarre, but it's really exciting. It is exciting for Steve Kerr. He'll have his point guard, Steph Curry. Back to back All Star starts more votes than any player in the NBA. And it keeps going. The best team in basketball, a sellout crowd at Oracle, brought to you by Mercedes with the Kings in town on a Friday night. Third meeting for these two teams. Opening night in Sacramento wasn't a pretty game. Warriors won. And then December 22nd, took care of them here in Oracle Arena. Look at they forgot about Clay. That's what I'm talking about. Overplaying, a little too aggressive. to use pump fakes, and all of a sudden, Clay's patience paid off there. Bogut sets those screens, and you call it the dark side of the moon. Clay Thompson and Steph have benefited from the big man. He also sensed, because he communicates with his players, that Sean was a little down. Something was a little off. Right. And he just said, hey, you know, take a couple games here. Let's get you right. And Livingston's come back and played extraordinarily well. And Barbosa got 23 and a half minutes in one game and 18 something in the other. Keeps everybody happy. Clay has hit both his threes. 11 0 Warrior run. This kid is so athletic. Clay to Matt McLemore at the top. The cousins missing. Back of the round, Clay Thompson. DeMarcus Cousins made a great move there. And it just rolls off the rim. Nothing going right there, but everything going right for the Warriors. Clay is 40 free throws away from already surpassing his career high in a season. And we're midway through this year. Oh, Clay Thompson upended. And he'll shoot two. And Cousins, good overplay and steal. Cousins handling. Clay Thompson locked in sessions. Vincent Miller comes out and, you know, just. Young men do not understand the value of staying in college and getting stronger, learning. You would have made more money in a pro. Yep. And if, if you do that. Andrew Bogut with the left hand. I like the way he's posting up tonight. They're looking for him. He feels very comfortable. Well, they're winning the fast break battle 10 to 8. It's impressive. Except Bogut is right at the rim. And I said, how do you counter physical presence, defense, overextending? Well, you maintain the ball there, you're going to get backdoor cuts, a big double team, make them pay the price there. You turn their strength into a weakness, and they did just there. Clay Thompson, now with 15. A little more under control there. Clay, great defense. Read the passing lane, comes up with a steal. Clay Thompson sets his feet. Ending the three-point drought. Eric Williams, three. And Steph with the rebound in motion. Clay Thompson triple. Yes, sir. They can be streaky. And streaky good. One more out of the corner. Tough rebound, Derek Williams. Bogut blocking. Andrew Bogut with a D. Two on one. Lob. Oh, Right-handed hammer. Clay's got that kind of elevation. You kind of hold your hold your breath so they start that lob. Nice. Clay Thompson three. Oh, he's feeling it. Yes, he Absolutely is. feeling it. Clay Thompson 13 in the quarter, 26 in the game. Five for five, including three threes. Oh, that's a deep one. He shot for oh. Piedmont. Oh man. That's a 28 footer. Ray McCallum. Tyrone Corbin says, see 11, go out and, and somehow stay with that guy. Yeah, he's trying to deny play the ball, barely in his hands, and right in the bucket. Seven of ten on threes, 32 in the game, 19 in the quarter. He's unconscious. Or he's trying to force feed the hot hand. No one's hotter than Clay, and he gets it to Draymond Green. Clay Thompson's doing everything. He'll do all the scoring. Then you want to focus the defense. Oh, he can pass the ball, too. And Clay, eight for eight. Another three. Callum a step hanging on it. Frame on the rebound. String together stops. Keep adding to the lead. Keep finding Clay Thompson to the rim again. A 
24 point quarter. Uh, I'm not sure if he's an all star, Jim. I'm going to really have to think about it. <laughs> Another steal. Curry's going to find him. Play three. Yes, sir! Oh, man! 40! Ties his career high in threes. One point off his career best. But a 27 point quarter. To me, that's more remarkable. Collison oh. missing. Get it to Clay Thompson again. Crowd standing. Clay driving again. Good! Oh, you're kidding me! A new career high. 29 in the third. 42 in the game. He's outscored the Kings 29-19 in this quarter. Collison can't finish. McCallum the rebound, David Lee. The Kings have 19, Clay has 29. Get it to him again. He's got it. His three. Have you ever seen anything like it? The Warrior players are beside themselves. Are you kidding me? They pop him again. Play again is three. <laughs> 48, 35 in the quarter. clay has got it. Weaving through the Kings and he's fouled. And that will be a free throws. That won't count. <laughs> he can't miss. I've never seen a shooting display like this. Well, if you're wondering what the NBA record is for most points in a quarter, you just watched it. George Gerben at 33 and a quarter. And Clay Thompson has 50 and 37 and a quarter. Clay Thompson, I'm going to repeat that 37 and a quarter. Well, Clay Thompson to the line. And here he comes. Fifty-two in thirty-two minutes, an NBA record thirty-seven in a quarter, eleven for fifteen on threes, and it was Clay Thompson's night. Fifty-two points, thirty seconds, thirty-seven in the third. You literally did not miss. How did that hot sh start? I got real good couple looks early, and then um, I made about four in a row. And uh, as a scorer, you know, a lot of tell anybody in this league, no matter what, they get the ball, they're shooting it. And that's what I felt like. We were up about 10, 12 points. And uh, I was just, every time I touched it, I was going to shoot it. And I, lucky, lucky me, I, I rattled off about six in a row. Did you, did you feel the defense? No, that's why I was open. You know, I, I, honestly, I don't think it mattered that much tonight. I was just really focused and I was hitting some tough ones. And uh, I was in a great flow. I knew I was due for a big half because in the first half I said so many good looks I just barely missed. And uh, man, it's, uh, even I'm shocked. That was crazy. 37 points is an NBA record in a quarter. Do you imagine shooting nights like this? No. Uh, I can't believe I own an NBA record. It's uh, God is good and I'm so blessed to be here and just healthy. And uh, hopefully it stands for a long time. But. Um, yeah, it was crazy. I don't really know what happened. What about tonight? Well, uh, the record, obviously, that yeah, feels great, but um, just the zone I was in, never shot like that. And, um, it, yeah, that's, that's about it. Thanks, Clay. Congrats. Thank you.